Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Zach's Tech Talk Tuesday. My name is Ryan McQueenie and today, today we will be talking about what we learned during NVIDIA's pre-Gamescom 2018 live stream yesterday. So for those of you who don't know, Gamescom is an annual video game trade fair which occurs in Cologne, Germany. It's actually the second largest gaming event behind only the Asia Game Show. Pulls in about several hundred, several hundred thousand visitors. The most recent thing I had heard was like 350,000, 400,000 people. Um, so you can rest assured that exhibitors want to bring their best to show off there. Gamescom technically didn't start until today, but NVIDIA got the ball rolling yesterday with a pre-show live stream, which many people had circled as the most important keynote-like speech of the entire conference. Heading into the event, NVIDIA had announced earlier this month the debut of its new touring architecture, the latest in its industry-leading family of graphics technology. When NVIDIA announced Turing, it also unveiled its first products to include the new tech, three GPUs in the Quadro line, which is geared towards professional applications. Turing features new RT cores that make ray tracing 25 times faster than old Pascal architecture by computing how light and sound travel in 3D environments. We'll actually dig more into ray tracing and how it works later in the show. But first, I just wanted to note that we also know Turing architecture includes tensor cores, which are processors that accelerate deep learning and inferencing. So this is two key things that NVIDIA is talking about over the past year. So really focusing on every time um, Jensen Huang gets a microphone to talk or gets in front of a crowd, he's talking about ray tracing and he's talking about deep learning. That's really the crux of the new Turing architecture. So we know about the Quadro RTX line and we know about Turing itself, but Gamescom is about games. So NVIDIA's live stream yesterday was definitely getting buzz ahead of it from gamers who were speculating that we'd see a consumer level gaming focused GPU based on Turing. And well, that's exactly what we got. So diving into that a bit, a bit that's really the big takeaway from yesterday's event is that NVIDIA unveiled the in NVIDIA manufactured Founders Edition RTX 2070, 2080, and 2080 Ti GPUs. I know that's a mouthful, but just to, to summarize a bit, the latter two, the 2080 and the 2080 Ti, which are kind of the core of the line, and then the the you can think of the Ti editions as kind of like the Pro or the Plus um, version. Those two are available for pre-order right now and expected to be out or around uh, out on or around September 20th. The RTX 2070, which is the more budget version, uh, no release date officially announced yet, so we know a little bit less about that. But looking at the soon-to-be-release cards, uh, the 2080 and the 2080 Ti, those are going to cost 800 bucks and 1200 bucks respectively, uh, which makes them basically direct replacements for NVIDIA's top-of-the-line GPUs, the GeForce GTX 1080 and 1080i T cards. Um, so yeah, you're seeing the next generation, it, the similar kind of structure to how the line works and how the pricing works uh, in terms of scale, but uh, the newer version of it. So uh, Jensen Huang, who was who was leading the speech, the keynote or the conference, whatever you want to call it, also announced starting at prices of seven hundred dollars and and a thousand dollars for the two cards due out in September, um, but he did not clarify if those will be the eventual prices for the Founders Edition cards or prices for third-party manufacturer's cards. So that's another thing to remember in the in the GPU market. NVIDIA licensing it licenses out its technology to third-party manufacturers. So you'll pay a little bit more for the NVIDIA manufactured cards, um, and those are the ones we just learned about. So the starting at prices could be uh, a third-party manufacturer's card or maybe what they want the Founders Edition to get to soon so all three of the new gpus will feature built-in support for nvidia's real-time ray tracing technology which getting back to ray tracing is, is a rendering and lighting technique deliver designed to deliver photorealistic graphics ray tracing delivers an incredibly high level of visual real realism but is incredibly complex on a computational level you know which kind of is why we've seen why we're just now starting to see video games use it. The movie industry has had the ability to use ray, ray tracing technology for years to create lifelike 
images and scenes in pre-rendered, predetermined sequences. When you have a lot of time to render and uh, model these sequences, uh, ray tracing is great and it works perfectly. But until now, the gaming industry has really lacked the processing power to create these realistic shadows, reflections, and refractions in the real-time interactive world of video games that someone might expect if they've been a moviegoer and they've gotten used to ray tracing technology. But gaming companies are finally starting to have the, the power to uh, make ray tracing a thing for games and they're starting to rule out ray tracing by the end of this year. And NVIDIA clearly intends to be on the cusp of that ne new technology, as I mentioned before. NVIDIA spent a lot of time during its live stream event demonstrating the ray tracing tech. And although they were impressive displays, uh, many have some lingering questions and were very quick to point out about, uh, how, how, about how it will work in a real-world game environment. Um, that's because the ray tracing demos were mostly limited to modeled materials, reflections, and lighting indoors. How will this work in games which switch between outdoor and indoor or dark and light incredibly quickly? quickly? That's the key question. And so far, NVIDIA's answer is to promise real-time ray tracing in basically three games. Shadow of the Tomb Raider will have real-time ray tracing um, ability with gains and lighting also, uh, performance gains, excuse me, performance gains and lighting also available in Battlefield Five and Metro Exodus, two upcoming games as well. So um, just out of those three things, I think or out of those three games that are specifically mentioned, I will say I think you'll see a lot of people uh, say that the Battlefield Five demo was the most impressive display of NVIDIA's new RTX system. Uh, that's the ray tracing system with uh, NVIDIA displaying reflections from explosions, accurately rendering on nearby objects like cars, tanks, um, even the ground and soldiers, virtual soldiers in the uh, in Battlefield Five, which is a World War II first-person shooter game. This is a um, big, big franchise. Uh, it, it is a, um, incredibly realistic gameplay. Um, it's an extremely popular franchise as well. So this is going to go, get, go into the hands of serious gamers around the world. It has a competitive scene. So, um, we're talking about everywhere from entry level gamers to competitive gamers, professional gamers will be interacting with this. Um, and it's world war two. So just imagine, the complex nature of the scenes and the images that need to be displayed. You're going inside and outside. There's tons of different environments. There's wooden weapons. There's all metal weapons. There's tanks. As I mentioned, they're showing explosions and how those things reflect off tanks and, and guns and, and even people. And, um, you know, that's all exactly what we're talking about before where ray chasing really hasn't had the ability to be used in this type of situation in games uh, up to this point. So the fact that NVIDIA is, is shooting for this and, and, and pulling this off uh, is really, really impressive. Um, and so that's a lot of technical stuff. Um, if you'll remember, if you go back, we're on like the 54th episode, 55th episode of this show. Uh, the first five or 10 were all about the actual technology itself. Uh, and that's kind of the original intention of the show. Um, and then we got some feedback from listeners and said, hey, we actually want to hear about investing strategies and, and whatnot. So we kind of shifted it that way. Um, but every once in a while, I, want, I would like to I want to remind listeners that, um, you know, we, we do love the technology on the show. This is Tech Talk Tuesday. We're interested in investing in tech. The best way to be a smart tech investor is to understand what you're investing in. And NVIDIA is obviously an incredibly popular growth stock right now. You have to be able to understand what the company is actually doing with these products, what the company is actually trying to do with its technology to be able to make a smart investment in that company. Um, we hear so much about NVIDIA as a, an AI peer play. We hear it as a, as a data center peer play. And yes, we know about its gaming unit, obviously, this the biggest revenue driver and still been a great growth catalyst for it. But what is it about what NVIDIA does on the gaming side that is so good? What is it about NVIDIA's technology that keeps gamers coming back to NVIDIA? Why do we go through certain stretches where it's nearly impossible to get your hands on a brand new NVIDIA GPU? 
Um, it's because of stuff like this ray tracing technology where, where you're on the cutting edge of what's possible in the industry right now. Um, and so that's why I think we can have an investing focused show and not even talk about the stock specifically um, and dive into things like what ray tracing is and, and NVIDIA's uh, speech from yesterday because those things are so important to um, the the they, they define what the company is and why the company has been so successful in recent years. Um, so that's my spiel on NVIDIA's Gamescom speech. Uh, Gamescom, as I said, just started today officially. So um, you're going to hear from everybody in the video gaming industry. So get ready for, for news from the likes of EA and Activision Blizzard and um, really every, you may get to hear probably some new stuff about Fortnite and PUBG and all the trends in gaming. Um, you might even hear something out of a trendy company like Turtle Beach. So uh, definitely keep your eyes on what's going on in Cologne this week. Um, could be a lot of really cool announcements. Um, NVIDIA loves to hop in early and do these pre-conference speeches and just steal all the spotlight. Uh, I have a good feeling that NVIDIA's announcement yesterday will be uh, will be the highlight of the week. But uh, definitely if you're interested in the video game space, definitely keep your eyes on Gamescom as things go on there. That does it for us today, though. As a reminder, if you feel that we missed something or if you want us to cover a different story, shoot us an email at podcast.zax.com. Make sure to check out all of our other audio content at zax.com slash podcasts. And remember to subscribe and leave us a rating on Apple Podcasts. Uh, we are also now available on Spotify, so search Zach's Investment Research there. You'll be able to find all of our shows. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of the Zach's Tech Talk Tuesday podcast. We'll see you next time.